G'day ladies and gentlemen and everything in between. This tutorial today is a very highly requested one on my live streams. Uh, you guys can see throughout my streams and my videos that I have custom camera angles like this and like this. And would you believe it or not, this is actually one as well. Now, how do you get these custom camera angles? It's super easy, it's how we do it. It's all in the binding of your PC keyboard. So I'm just gonna preface this, it has to be done on PC. I don't know how to do it on Xbox. I don't even know if you can do it on Xbox. You need to make sure though, that the plane that you're wanting to make custom camera angles for has a fully modeled cabin. So what I mean by that is when we go back to the cabin here and I open this door, you can obviously see it's fully modeled. It's got seats, it's got everything there that we want, right? Some of these planes, when you open this door or you won't even be able to open this door, which means the cabin is not modeled. Therefore, I don't think you'll actually be able to create custom camera angles. But luckily in this A321 uh, on Flight Simulator 2024, you can actually do so. And once you're in the cabin, essentially all you want to do is kind of navigate to where you want to create a custom camera angle. Uh, come up a bit there, it's pretty sick. So I'm going to come like that and we're going to shoot this one to be an angle. Now, what you want to do is go over to your settings. Go to controls, go to your keyboard, type in custom camera in the bar up here, and you've got the save custom camera options. Now you wanna bind them to something that you will remember. For example, I do the right control button on my keyboard whilst clicking the numpads on my keyboard. And when I do this, that'll actually save the camera angle. Now I did control because I guess the word control reminds me straight away that, you know, that's like saving the camera angle and then to match these, so you've got save custom camera angles from zero to nine. To match these, you want to also bind load custom cameras. So you want it to be the, pretty much the same thing. So I've got right control from num zero, and then to load that custom camera angle zero, I then click right alt num zero. So on my keyboard, I'm clicking alt zero, alt one, alt two, uh, and that's essentially how I'm flying between my custom camera angles. And it's great because if you've got a full keyboard where you've got your num keys, you can use these to your advantage and you can get some pretty sick shots of uh, the cabin and the wings and the engine and stuff like that. Now, exterior custom camera angles of the wings and stuff, I actually haven't found out how to do so in Flight Simulator 2024 in an easy way. What I did was go into the lavatory in the middle of the plane and I actually saved this as an angle. I found this kind of open, non- detailed area of the uh, of the plane I zoomed in and that there kind of looks like an external angle so when you're watching that landing it actually looks kind of sick uh, in fact I'm actually going to go ahead now and save this as an angle so I'm going to go control 4 and then if I click alt 2 to go to a different angle then alt 4 there you go you got one angle straight to the other one and then I've got my favorite angle which is alt 0 and it goes straight back to the cockpit at the level that I like my eyes at. So that's how you create custom camera angles. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it was, please do all the little things by liking, commenting, subscribing, share the videos around, and help little guys like me get seen on the internet. That's all we can ask for. Thank you and goodbye.